to see all the girls in Orlando. It's gonna be so much fun. Hi everyone, hello. With the medium coffin and stiletto want them. I have lots of videos. I have over 2000 videos. I'm pretty sure there's a video for you. So let's measure these, you guys. These are super short and they have a perfect smile line. Like it is so beautiful. I'm gonna do two today. I'm going to do two fingers today and the rest on the ground. I have so much gel underneath my nails, it's hard to fit them actually. Cause I have like layer upon layer upon layer of press on gel, but we're gonna shape them and snatch them up. These nails are tiny. Already can't wait. And don't forget you guys, you can still use that promo code. If you live here in the US, Joy20 to take 20% off your entire purchase. That promo code ends January 1st. So you still have a few days to take advantage of that. You're skinny enough, I wish. I gotta get rid of these thunder thighs. And Orlando, actually they will. These nails will be at the class. Also, the lamps are back in stock already too. Apple cider vinegar is probably one of the best detoxes, you guys. I live, I swear, off apple cider vinegar pills. Make sure she is perfectly pushed back super tiny. So we're going to use pink press on gel because you guys know me. I love a good vivid nail bed. I don't want anything pale. I want a bright pink nail bed. And some people were like, well, will you make a more beigey one? Actually, a beigey nail bed does not look that great on warmer or darker skin tones. Um, it, I, I think the contrast is too much. I think a bright pink looks more beautiful and it's more flattering on every single skin tone. And nail bed, it looks more alive. It just looks more healthy than a flat beige. But we do have honey peach available. So if you do want more of a, a paler beige, we do have that option. And then we have also the coral pink, which is eternal beige. And then princess pink, which is a bright vivid pink, which is my personal favorite. Where is my DIY lamp? Here she is. So we can use either Miss DIY or Miss Kitty lamp. Coffee one, two, three, go. And my client in love. How fabulous is that? because the products are worth it apple cider vinegar stuff works a lot on things it does apple cider vinegar is no joke so let's do our express application and again i apologize you guys if i can't get to every single comment because i am going to show you a little quick express little demo because it is a busy day here at enocouture.com we did a massive restock today on the dazzling darling lamps we did a massive restock also on the four pack of the vegan liner brushes. What else did we do a restock on? Vegan four pack brushes, the silicone tools, lots of stuff. So let's line her up. Let's freeze her. I'm using the DIY lamp. So on a calorie, I wish. I'm really bad with that. I'm ha I had Chinese food today, but I had vermicelli noodles, which are kind of healthy. Kind of, not that much, but. I need that pink press on gel. Pink press on gel, she is life. She is the game changer. Make sure we press down firmly. Be available. The DIY drill, I'm thinking early January. We should be good to go. Right now, I'm really pushing everybody to get out as many orders as possible because we don't want any delays, especially with the holidays. So let's make sure we freeze it really well. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that stunning? Stunning, stunning, stunning. That smile line, she is no joke. And because the nails are shorter, I actually wanted a lower smile line, but a lot of girls wanted a higher smile line, so I made her a little bit higher than what I personally would like, but, you know, time to give the girls what they want. I don't like when the smile line is like halfway on the nail bed though too. I'm like, it looks so unproportioned. So if that happens, you probably need more gel on the inside. So let's apply a little bit more.
That's funny. Thank you. I'm a huge crystal light drinker too. Nicole Rodriguez is watching. Press her down firmly and then freeze. Tony Lane is here. Yes, our like uh, XXL nails have a super deep smile line. So beautiful. But for the shorter nails, we kind of have to like balance that out a little bit. You know what I mean? Beautiful. Look how cute these are, you guys. Don't these look like sculpted nails too? Like I'm, I'm done. Like, it's game over. So we're going to cure them for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp, which is now available. She is back in restock, back in our lives. She was out for a little bit, but she's back. Bonjour! Hi, Sue. So yesterday I was watching, what did I do on Sunday? I had to go to Kohl's because I did an Amazon return. And then I watched Uncle Buck, which I have not seen in a really long time. And I forgot how funny that movie was. And I also started watching the remake of The Witches, which I was like really against, but I actually started to enjoy it a little bit. So it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So let's pull back the sides. Remember you guys with French, one, two, three, go, or coffin, ombre, one, two, three, go, any kind of one, two, three, go nail, you guys. Be really careful when filing the sides because you do not want to file off the white. We don't want to ruin that finish. So just go in really gently. And let's make her a nice soft coffin. Nothing too crazy. Love Uncle Buck. Oh my gosh. I didn't know John Caddy had died. I guess he died a long time ago, 94. And he was Canadian. Shout out to all of our Canadians. Look at that. These also make really beautiful, short, like roundish, kind of almondy nails. Hi from New Orleans. So now we're going to use the pink carrot bit to begin the blending of the phalanges. I have a little bit of gel that ran there. So let's blend her in. And then we're gonna go in with the mixer bit. Which is a super fine gold coated bit. Extra, extra fine. So it's great for getting into tight little corners and really blending everything out. So yesterday, when we got back done from Amazon at Kohl's, when I went to go do my return, I was like, let's go eat. My dad was with us. We took him out so that we can get some fresh air. And I've been really wanting to eat at Sweet Tomatoes. And I realized that all the Sweet Tomatoes are closed. I guess they went bankrupt or something. And now there is no more Sweet Tomatoes anywhere. It is Vaporwave, yes.
This is a Miami mix of Vaporwave because I kind of felt these nails had a Miami vibe to them. Wow, look how blended that is. We don't mess around. Let's remove the dust. And then a little trick you can do is I'm gonna show you guys. Get the light out of the way. Got my shiny ready. Remove the dust. We're gonna take primer, which is a non-acid primer. You're gonna put it along the cuticle area and this is going to blend in the tip even more because we can't buff it, it will ruin the finish and it will take off any white. So take primer. And since our primer is non-acid, it will not irritate the nail. Just like that. We're gonna give that a few seconds to dry and then we're going to apply shiny gel. And it was good. Wow. I never got to go to Sweet Tomatoes. No, it just closed this year. Zuli's watching. Was it good? I don't know. I never had gone to a Sweet Tomatoes restaurant. I had always wanted to go, but they're all gone now. They look elegant. Oh, I love the max tips. You know how I do. So let's apply one coat of shiny gel on the entire surface of the phalange. How beautiful that is. It really does look like a sculpted pink and white. That shine. I can't. Let's turn the head upside down. That just makes the nail a little bit more snatched, a little bit more seamless. Look how beautiful these are, you guys. Now let's bake this for one minute. Inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. French is always a classic. You can't go wrong with a French. Love the look of those nails. Perfect. Gorgeous. I remember that happened to me attempting to go to see Cheese Pizza. Was it closed? That pink color is just perfect. And it looks so beautiful on every skin tone. It really, really does. And then we're going to finish with, of course, Cotton Candy Cuticle Oil. Remember you guys, it's always best to seal the French or the Ombre 123 goes with two coats of top coat just to prevent any smudging. Uh, not smudging, I'm sorry. Any chipping or peeling, okay? But for the video, we're just gonna do two. One, I'm gonna let the nails cool down for a few seconds. Oh my gosh, all of them closed down. That's wild. And we're gonna add some cotton candy cuticle oil to hydrate. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? So fast and easy. Aren't they just adorable, you guys? Like the perfect short little French nails, you guys. Super fast, super easy. Last at least 21 days when applied properly. It's just the game changer, you guys. Look at that. And you can reshape these two if you want them a little bit more round, if you want them a little bit more pointy. Shiny, will, the refill will probably be back in stock 
uh, probably towards the end of January, if not February. I want to scoop this out, but no, I'm good. Well, you guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this quick little demo. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys, these nails were made for you because you guys wanted a mini coffin French nail with the higher smile in, so I did it just for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Visit enocouture.com for the best nail products in the world. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.